Do you ever have tasks that show up on your to-do list that you simply don't want to do? I know I certainly do. And when those items show up on my to-do list, I'm much more likely to engage in procrastination or even sometimes feel a sense of cognitive shutdown. My brain gets hazy or feels fatigued. Luckily, our system is made up of many different energetic brainwave states in any given time. And if we know how to be in relationship with those different brainwave states, we can actually harness the power of our brain to move into action with intention. So there's two parts to this process. The first one is if you notice a task show up and you go, oh, I really don't want to do that. That's an indication that there is some emotional activation happening. And at that point, take a moment, maybe two to five minutes, so a little more than a moment, and do that CPR for the amygdala technique. You're going to apply the self-havening touch and simply play some brain games. Those brain games may be a category game, such as going A to Z and naming bands in the world or A to Z places in the world. You can sing or hum some childhood songs, which is particularly great because it gets our vagus nerve online. That's that parasympathetic nervous system, our calming system. Right, count some numbers, count by twos up to a hundred. Just want to play maybe two to three rounds of different brain games to help the system calm down. The fact that you're noticing some resistance to the task at hand means that your little brain back here, your limbic system is going, ugh, I don't want to. And so we're helping that part of the system calm down. Then think about something that excites you or interests you. We're utilizing the energetic state from a different experience to enhance the current one. Now for me, I love riding my horse, and so I'll go, I'll just imagine I'm riding my horse, and he's a five-year-old rescue off the racetrack, so he's a little wily at times. And so trust me, that definitely gets my brain alert and functional, because if I'm riding him, I have to be very careful. So notice something in your life that brings you interest, or joy works as well. If there's something in your world that brings you joy, welcome that energy in, perhaps a butterfly sunshine on a warm day, feel of that on your skin. Perhaps reading something really interesting to you or a moving piece of music, a piece of music that makes you want to get up and dance. Whatever it might be, find something stimulating. That's going to shift your brain into the preferred brainwave state. And then turn your attention back to that task that you don't want to do Notice if the energy has changed at all. Now, I'm not saying you're suddenly going to want to do it, but notice if your reserves for accomplishing the task are stronger now. Through shifting our state into a motivated engagement, we're welcoming in a brainwave state of interest and curiosity. And then we can apply that to the tasks that we'd rather not participate in. If you notice that you're still going, ugh, I don't want to do it, you can go back and do a little bit more CPR for the amygdala. Go accomplish a different task that feels more interesting to even further heighten the capacity of your system to be engaged and then return to the task at hand. It's just a quick little task to help you move forward on those tough tasks that you'd rather not do, but unfortunately, because we're adults and we live in the world we live in, sometimes we have to do the things we'd rather not do.